Hey everybody, uh, Brett Taylor, Bleach Nation, and I'm here at Wrigley Field because it's the home opener, yay! And I am joined by Ernie Banks and Michael Cerami. Hey everybody! And we kind of figured we're going to be here anyway today, talking about the Cubs, having a good time, and so we figured why not do that so you can watch while we literally take a walk around Wrigley Field. This might be fun, hopefully it is, and uh, we'll just see how this goes. While we're here, I want to point out the uh, construction that's going on. That is the office building uh, and retail establishment that's being built at the end of the plaza that they're putting up. Uh, plaza should be done sometime this year, uh, but I wouldn't plan on enjoying it anytime soon before next year. Does that make you sad, Michael? It makes me very sad, very, very sad. All right, let's, uh, let's start walking. I'm taking about five pictures of people in front of the marquee already. And it's, it's looking brand new. We're about to approach it right now. Looks it's, good. it's true. You cannot hang out in front of the marquee unless you want to be a designated photographer. In fact, you will see, I mean, there are people like here at all hours taking pictures of this. So yeah, let's check out the marquee. It's looking, it's looking big and beautiful. All right, let's, uh, let's keep, keep on walking. Yeah. I'm going to spin this around just manually. You all can see. This is a great way to get hit by traffic. <laughs> oh, you can tell people about the uh, security uh, situation here. Oh, yeah. I mean, we so we just walked up. Um, I'll take a look at it. As you can see, like, all the metal detectors, there's a bunch of them lined up, but we're just a few feet away from the curb. Um, so I'm not really sure how it's going to work out tonight because it doesn't look like you could fit more than about 20 people back. Uh, I'm guessing they thought about it, but it definitely isn't something that looks like it's going to go super smoothly. Hopefully it does, though. Um, I don't know. Do you think you're going to be able well, to do it? Well, they did warn people like repeatedly through the offseason, get here early, get here early, get here early. And certainly this the main entrance here, <laughs> guy walking by, 435. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that works out. And uh, we're going to take, uh, we're walking down Addison right now. And we'll probably just zip this part. Yeah. Hey. So we just made it down to the corner of Sheffield and Addison. This is where the uh, DraftKings Fantasy Lounge, former Captain Morgan Club, is. And as you can see, uh, folks are here, man. Yeah. It's like seven hours before open, and folks are here having a good time. This I, is the home opener. I saw tweets from earlier this morning, even from 10:30, 11 o'clock, saying people were showing up already, uh, starting to drink, getting ready for the home opener. I mean, who can blame them? Cubs fans know how to do it. So uh, we are now here at the corner of Sheffield and Addison, where you may recall the, oh, That's good, the good, yeah, good, good <laughs> job, right angle. good job, Brett. There's, let's, let's, there's let's, the back of Ron Santa. Let's, let's walk that around a little bit. That's <laughs> better. It's because I was going to try and get two of them in the same shot. But so the Ron Santo statue, and the Billy Williams statue, those were actually in storage for a while this off season. Uh, they just recently returned. I think just this past week they oh. just made it back. So, uh, oh, should we take a look? They got the banners up there. Area. Yeah, he's, that's, he's got a real face. That's, that is an intense face. It's a bummer to keep seeing Schroeder everywhere. So I walk into the uh, souvenir shop across the street. There was uh, some Schroeder gear and a bunch of posters right out in front. And obviously, I mean, it was expected to be a huge year for him, so that's probably why it's all out there. But. It's definitely, you know, makes you sad to see it when it's when it, he's going to be out for the whole season. Speaking of promotional stuff, hey, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wish I had my face in a billboard somewhere. It's Monday, right? Someday, 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 Michael, someday. It'll just be me with a Bleacher Nation bat over my shoulder. It's true. Uh, so speaking of the the very unfortunate news, Cal Schwarber injury, uh, he's out for the year. But we did find out today that the Kyle Schwarber home run ball from the NLDS is apparently, according to Crane Kenny via Paul Sullivan, back up there on the board where it belongs. 
Uh, I don't know if it'll be there forever, but I think that's very cool, especially for folks who sit up in the grandstand and they'll be able yeah. to like point out to their friends and family, oh, like, absolutely. hey, there's that ball. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was actually pretty bummed when they took it down. I understand why, but I'm hoping that they're keeping it up there, not just because he's out, but for the whole season and because it's a really great, you know, landmark. It's turning into a little bit of a legend, a little bit of lore. And I mean, everyone I know seems to love it being up there. So as long as it's possible, you know, the, the logistics work out, I think they should keep it up there all season as a little bit of a good luck charm. Yeah. Some people give it grief because, whoops, thumb in the camera. Uh, some people give it grief because then the Cubs obviously had a very ignominious end to the playoffs. But like, that was a, that was just a great memory, man. And it was a transitional period for the franchise. They're, they're renovating Wrigley, they're putting up a video board, and he hits this iconic home run. And he's one of the new breed of players. So check it out, we're on uh, Sheffield right now. Some, someone with awesome shoes. Yeah, those are Brett Taylor shoes. Yeah, right these, there. these Cubs players, they got some shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you didn't know that, when you walk around Wrigley, yeah. they have the open gate here uh, on Sheffield. So, you can always peek in and awesome. just kind of see what's going on. This is new, by the way. No, it is, but I think it was from last year. But uh, yeah, it's cool. They've got the new um, pavers out and they've obviously added some Cubs legend type uh, folks in there with the, the fans who have uh, wanted to put theirs there. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, just walking around too, I guess this is the point, but every single person's got Cubs gear on around here, except for me apparently. Um, but I, I mean, I remember <laughs> just the regular, but it's blue. It's blue. Awful. Um, I remember being at the home opener last year, and you know it was definitely electric and buzz was around. But already around Wrigley, we're like seven hours from game time, and everyone around here is fully loaded up in gear. People are starting to drink. I saw people getting out of cabs and saying, "All right, so uh, sluggers or yuppie," <laughs> and I was like, "Geez, you guys are getting going right away." But it's great to see that um, we're stopping because we're going to get hit by traffic. Well, there's that also. See, you even got people lining up already to get in the bleachers. Yeah. Like I said, we're like six hours out from the game, six, seven hours out from the game. Yeah. Folks already lined up. All right, I don't think we'll get hit now. Go Cubbies! Yeah, go Cubs! Go Cubbies! Yeah! <laughs> that's, us, that's us getting a selfie, even though it's also on video. Oh, video, yeah. <laughs> Budweiser bleachers. More metal detectors. Aren't as many metal detectors here in the bleachers as there are out front, which makes me a little nervous yeah. about uh, entering. Uh, no, not because of like security. Like, no. Right. <laughs> just from yeah, the time you need to get uh, aspect. Early, for sure. And uh, yeah, so let's take a little walk down Waveland. Not too many uh, home run balls out this way anymore. No. Beautiful video board, I love it, but it blocks the balls. It'll have to be Chris to do it this year to put it over the scoreboard. Well, and the one he hit that was like way up on the board yeah. was 500 and third. Yeah. See, it's already I don't even remember because he's gonna tie, he's gonna hit 600 foot, uh, and he's gonna have to to clear the video board. Uh, one thing Brett didn't mention is as right before we started this video and we were out front, uh, Tom Ricketts shows up and is standing behind us as me and Brett are just staring at my phone like a couple of doofuses and people are taking <laughs> selfies with him and he stopped about five or six times um, taking pictures with everyone so it's great. I mean it's fun to see him up and around Wrigley and talking with the fans. We joke about it and we say it you know in jest but he really is, uh, he really is a uh, Really popular owner and a fun owner, so it's something that uh, <laughs> you are planning yeah, on jumping it, in. No, no, it's, it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long day for him, and good on oh. him because he does that every day. And like yeah. today, it'll be. I, I'm glad that he's getting now the benefit of like having done that through the rebuild. He was he was a cool yeah. dude with fans throughout the rebuild. And now he, I think, I hope he gets the benefit of like fans just they mm -hmm. all just love him, and it's like he did a great job. Hang on, I'm just going to take a. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I was like, should I speed this up? <laughs> or do you right. see <laughs> Brett was like, hold on. And I was like, we're just stopping by the porter potties? I had a thought about Tom Ricketts. Um, yeah, no, I totally agree, though. It, it is nice to see him, um, especially after a huge season last year, 
you know, big push into the playoffs and then all the expectations this year. Everyone seemed to be super excited to see him. Um, nothing but you're doing great, Tom, and this is awesome, Tom. So that's exciting to see. Um, I'm definitely happy for him, too. So we are uh, winding our way back toward the end uh, where Sheffield hits Clark. And that's going to basically end our walk around Wrigley because right now, because of the construction, Dude, do you think that the big black thing is a slide? Can we go slide down that? Oh, yeah, definitely. If you hit a home run ball in there, actually everyone gets free pizza. Yeah, free pizza uh, and 20 runs. Yeah. <laughs> so in any event, uh, you can't. the reason I point that out is you can't walk down Clark on this side of it anymore. So a little hard to do our loop. And uh, I think that's where we're going to call it. Yeah, I think that's a good place to end it. Uh, everyone's excited for the game tonight, and I think the Cubs are going to do well. We're going to have some fun, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let us know. If you didn't, let us know. We're going to try and you know do fun things like this more this year. And so sitting make sure. Right and we will be at the game today, uh, sitting in right field bleachers. Look for us. We look like this. Like, seriously, that's how he looks at the game the entire All the time. time. You will, you'll be able to spot him. People get really mad when we're losing, and I'm like this. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching. Read our stuff, BleacherNation.com, and we will see you guys at the game. Go Cubs, home opener. Woo! Later.